Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Islands. Today we are going to, well, hopefully among other things, check out this guy flying above. Now I thought about this and I was like, you know the drill on YouTube. What they would do is a YouTuber would tell you, all right, we're going to fly and go check this thing out. But first, and they would save this really cool thing for the end of the episode. But I thought that things could go very poorly, very quickly, and I'd hate to make people wait and then just have this not work out. So we're gonna do a first thing. <laughs> so I just wanna get kind of close to this. And uh, there it is, there it is again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at him, I got a little close and all I did was back away a little bit and that was good enough for him. Phew, scared me. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Um, I kinda just wanna get under it. So there it is again, you can see we got fans, we got this the electricity, the stuff on top. Again, I don't know what this is. Um, I could have looked this up and I could have researched this, but I decided not to. Um, I didn't actually want to know. I thought somebody may give it away in the comments. Somebody may mention it, but nope, nobody mentioned anything. So here we are. Let's go ahead and do this. I have on me. I did drop a lot of stuff off in case I die and for some reason can't get my stuff back. Um, this other stuff's not too hard to replace, but let's go ahead and get this flight potion going. Okay, let's see. Somewhere in here. One second. <clears throat> okay, I had to clear my throat there. Um, let's do it. We're going to scroll to this. Drink the potion of flight. And then I think the controls are like, it says C to, or space to ascend, and I think C to d descend. When I first had read that, I thought it was for underwater, but probably here too. Okay, let's do it. Oh, we got to hold it. Okay, so we can fly, space to fly. Oh, two times. Ooh, flapping our arms. All righty, let's get up here and check this out. Okay, and it looks like we just hover. I don't see a timer or anything. Um, so that's, oh, upper left, is that a timer? I can't tell. All right. Oh no, it shocked me. That wasn't cool. <laughs> Um, let's see. It, oh, it did two hearts of damage. Okay, let's, let's, um, whoops, let's descend, left shift. Let's try to go, like, under this. Does it, like, push me down or anything? No. So it's just chilling here. Let's see. I don't see any kind of opening. It looks like maybe there's an opening in the middle. Maybe you have to, like, destroy these things? Hmm. I wonder if we, like, come from the side. Is this too close? Can we see in here? All right, some kind of glow inside there. That's cool. Let's see. I'm wondering if it can shock me from like below like this. Oh no, my flight potion, no! Oh! <laughs> A serious case of landing too hard. Ouch. Okay, well I got back to here. We basically spawned not too far down there. Pretty much right as I cut out, I got here. But um, anyway, made a fire last night just to see. Crafted myself a X, and we're going to run over there. Um, hopefully my stuff is still there. Not a huge deal. I mean, it was just some clothes and, and other things I could very easily remake. Um, so no biggie. Grab up some feathers. Um, but I'm mostly curious, actually, if you just kind of drop your stuff, you can pick that back up from something like that. But um, that's pretty interesting. I think we may need to go over to the tower next that we found over in that direction and see if there's some way to interact with that and if that does anything with this thing. I'm really not sure. It was fun flying while it lasted, though. Okay, I stood up on a hill, the one right back there, and saw a spot of something on top of these trees, like these two right in front of me. So, yeah. We're going to cut these both down and see if our stuff comes down with it. Hopefully that's the case. Um, not a huge deal again if it doesn't, but this is mostly testing. It looks like it's just resting right on the top, though. Okay, so you're going down. Whoops. Does that fall over there anywhere? I don't see anything. Probably have to break this up. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to run back out here really quick because it's not that far. We're going to take a peek again from the top, see if I can see it. I feel like I was getting the right one. Oh, you can see it now on this other tree right above my head there. Okay, so I think the second big one will do it. If it drops down, it might hit like on another tree, but anyway, I'm going to keep at it until our stuff comes to the ground. Well, that doesn't bode well. It's just sitting up there. <laughs> and just floating in the air, huh? 
Alrighty, well, I guess we're leaving that stuff behind. Again, not a huge deal. I will chop up these trees, though. Don't want to let them go to use... Or, <laughs> don't want to let them go to use? No, I don't want to let them go to waste. We can definitely use this stuff. As I got back to my base here, I noticed a number of things grew in. You can see I've got the pineapples have come in and the few cotton I threw down. And so I basically, also on the way back, um, scooped up a bunch of cotton. So I broke that, those, the seeds for that down. And I planted those and I've planted some... Um, grass as well and i planted some trees over there including banana trees i ended up with like nine bananas or something like that so i split it i grabbed four of them broke those down into seeds to plant as trees i can eat the rest i've got some melons too planted some melons so we've got a good number of things going here for the farm but what i want to do um what i want to do is wear this hat <laughs> definitely want to do that perfect but um what i want to do is i really want to get into the boat making um, because I want to try traveling to another island. I don't know if that's going to take me a while to do or not. I may need to look into what that takes. I seem to recall looking at a boat, and I seem to recall seeing something about nails. So what I wanted to do, as I'm remembering now, I'm like, what was I going to try? I've got in one of these, I guess it's over here. No. Maybe I just missed it here. Yeah. I've got these iron ingots, so I was kind of curious if... It just naturally came up like nails did. It doesn't look like it. Let's just do this. Okay, so nail doesn't even come up on my list at all. Um, okay, smelting furnace, no fuel. I do have a smelting furnace here, um, and it's not fueled right now. I did light it earlier, but um, to melt... Actually, let's go ahead and check. Oh, you know what? I think I started this, and <laughs> I think I lit it, and I didn't throw the uh, ore in at all. Um, oh no, I guess I didn't have any in there. Okay, never mind. I'm reading this totally wrong. Um, I think. <laughs> anyway, mostly I was looking for a light source and then I made a campfire. But anyway, um, I think nails are like one of the things. I remember, I remember looking at the boat and saying, okay, well, I, the rest isn't too hard to get, I don't think. But nails, I'm not sure about. So I'm going to try and figure that out. Um, I think we may need more than this. Uh, we may need the blacksmith. Actually, let's look at that. Um, that might be what we need. Let's see, visually, I can... Some new stuff in here because of... Oh, probably because I'm holding the iron blocks. Right, very cool. I haven't had the iron ingots before. Um, so we have the kiln. Okay, so I think we need a kiln um, to make the charcoal. And then I think the charcoal we use for the blacksmith or something. Something like that. Um, there is the energy stove. Okay, my eyes are either glazing over it. Oh, here we go. I was about, just about to search it. <laughs> so we need bellows. Hmm, anvil, hammer, clay. So there's a number of things we need. Um, let's search bellows real quick. So that doesn't come up. Okay, so we're missing some things. But there's definitely crafting benches I don't have down right now that I, I guess I should be working on getting those out. So maybe that's what I'll do is I'll work on trying to get some of the basic, um, the other stuff down. I know there's like a um, the tanning deal for um, skins. And I think it's like a, this guy here, the spinning wheel. That's another thing we need to do. So I'm going to start working on this. These actually aren't too hard. Cool. So I've been kind of melting down some copper and iron. It's very easy to get. It was very close and got large quantities of it. And once I got some of that smelted down uh, into ingots, I put it in my inventory and I was able to make this anvil. I placed down the mortar and pestle there. Um, and you can actually hit V, so I'm kind of holding this, but you can actually uh, hit V, which goes into a place mode. And you can place really anything. Um, but let me go back because I just made that stove. Hmm. That's odd. Made a stove. I wonder if it doesn't make it like if you don't place it. Because you can see I don't have the, I don't have the stove in my inventory. But I did go here. Hmm. It looks like it did it. You'll see when I hit like it's not in my inventory. There's no stove. But if I hit construct here, it goes into place mode. So me not placing it. I guess spent the resource but didn't place it. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and put that there. So we've got that. We've got no fuel to it, but that's cool. So I'm assuming we do some cooking in there in the stove. Anvil and stuff, I'm not sure. These we may end up just picking back up, like having in our inventory. I'm not really sure how those work, but this guy looks like we can interact with it. So we shall see. Let's look back in here. These are all done. We'll take all. 
and we'll throw in um, I think I've got a good amount of copper let's just let's just go iron for the rest of these slots it's got this thing where it's throwing one down here I'm not sure why um, but I think it is smelting it so <laughs> like I can't click again it tells me it's full so anyway I'm gonna keep smelting these down while I've got this burning and um, you know kind of looking through here to see what I can make um, this would be cool to make I'd like to have kind of a more permanent light source here rather than these campfires that burn out um, there is a paper press I just don't know that I really need that right now other than that I think we're I think we're getting kind of to the end of that because okay so we would need the anvil in our inventory that's right for the blacksmith then we just need bellows and clay clay I'm not sure about I played with that during the demo I was trying to find some I was like maybe you dig it near water maybe you combine to make clay but it wasn't showing up in my crafting so I'll, I may have to look that one up okay I got a lot done last night I made a bunch of copper and a bunch of iron I just placed some down out here just for fun but I put the majority of it back in here um, I did make the spinning wheel and I'm working up some cloth or rather some uh, yarn right now because I wanted to make some cloth it was funny cloth wasn't in my uh, in my possibilities as far as making it and I thought well maybe I need to make um, something else so I made um, grass shirt and skirt which <laughs> you see me wearing which then did uh, show me at that point the option to make cloth so I just needed a bit more yarn for that um, so I think when I do that what I'm looking for is like the tanning table it's like for hides and stuff because I think I may need that for the bellows see I'm kind of I'm progressing here trying to get towards something so anyway I'm just kind of um, waiting let's see we'll take all of this and if I go here I should be able to I don't see it right off the bat cloth yeah see there we go so we can make one of these um, Oh, I need a weaving loom. Okay, so maybe that's available now. Let's look that up. Loom. Okay, right. So there wasn't a loom before, but now there is. I just need five poles, um, which I should be able to do. One, two, three, four, five. Loom. One of you. That's another thing we can place down. I'll just kind of put it like here. It's good. And then that's going to take a little bit of time to interact with. But I think I'm going to need some hide for the bellows. So what I did was I made a bow. And I have arrows, and I've never shot a bow or arrow in this game before, so I wanted to go on a little hunt. Um, I don't know exactly what to hunt. I was thinking I could go for a cat since they're kind of aggro, but the boars um, kind of run away from you, so I feel like that's a safer start. And I think that I've got some just over the hill. I know they wander a little bit. Um, look for them to be roaming around. Now there are some animals uh, fenced up in the woods around the corner but that just feels a little cheap <laughs> so anyway let's um let's just kind of wander around here and i'll find some boars pretty quick i'm sure cool didn't have to go very far found one on the right i can see it says activate combat mode uh, by holding let's go ahead and do that okay so we've got the target and then i'm assuming i just left click so i'm just going to click it once okay i'm going to hold now okay i guess you hold and then let go okay a little short there weem only got 10 of these don't waste them Oh, that was low too. Dang. There we go. Is he gonna run now? Yes. Oh, what the? Can I pick it up? Okay, looks like I can't pick it up. Alrighty, now we, now we're chasing. Let's see. There he is. Here we go. No, nope, he's running. We. They let you get pretty close. So this may be a little bit of a game here. Let's come down here. To really arc this one, huh? Yeah, there we go. The hunt is on. Yeah, on the move. Got some skills. My arrow's sticking out of him. Yeah, look at that. Whoo! Breaking out the skills. So we've got some raw meat, which is great. And we've got some boar hide, which is also great. Let's bring up the crafting and see. If that adds anything, um, we already had the weaving loom. Let's go over here and see if that introduced anything new right off the bat. I'm not seeing it. I don't remember that keychain being there a second ago. You can see there's signs and some keys and stuff. I was noticing those, but I've been trying to focus on um, getting this table made. Maybe if I make some like bandages. I do have some rags. Hmm, I'll have to play with this a bit. I'm gonna actually hunt another boar or two and then head back and see what we can do with our games.
Well, we're getting close. I um, put together some cloth and everything, and I did look up really quick the bellows. And the bellows you need a sewing kit for, which was a needle and cloth, so we're good there. And now that I've just made the sewing kit, um, you can see we have bellows, but we need just a few more cloth. So I'm gathering up some cotton here to put together the yarn so that we can build some cloth. It's like, that's a very white horse. Is that a unicorn? <laughs> so anyway, we're getting close, getting very close. Finally, found some clay. I just uh, was running around the different uh, colors of uh, blocks out here and trying to find clay. Basically, I looked online and it said, oh, it's a resource on the surface. You got to find it. So <laughs> I've been hitting up all these different places and I saw this spot and I was like, oh, please, it looks right. And sure enough, we got some clay here. This is going to be the last step, actually. Um, we've got what we need for the uh, to make the blacksmith. We just need the um, we just needed the clay. So this is excellent. Go ahead and scoop up this. That's quite a bit of clay, I think. 35. Let's go ahead and check this again. Um, black Smith. We have 35. Needed 20. These are back at the uh, base. Boom. Let's do it. What a night. I totally cheated the system. I actually really like this. I went to bed and I tried to sleep through the night. And right as I hit sleep, it woke me up because it was pouring down rain. None of my fires would light except this guy. This guy was allowed to burn because it looks like it has protection. Anything else I lit was put out right away and I just couldn't sleep. So it was like pitch black. So I dug out this hole <laughs> and I went to make a bed and I had plenty of iron. So I was like, fine, I'll make an iron bed. And sure enough, I was able to sleep under there because I had cover. Actually, I actually like that you need to do that. That's pretty cool. So anyway, I have slept. You can see I put the blacksmith down. I got that down last night. So anyway, we've got all kinds of different things in here we could be making, which is cool. I think nails are important. Now, what we're trying to do is get a boat made and I actually looked that up. And for a boat, we need a we need some cloth. We need a, we need a bunch of planks. We need a bunch of nails and a hammer. Um, the nails, not too bad. You can see we actually have quite a few here. 500, whoa. Okay, so nails are super easy. Let's just go ahead and do one real quick. Okay, so that's in there. Um, I think we just have to like, yeah, we have to just light this. Five, I gave it fuel. I just couldn't light it. Cool. So there you go. That's going to make a whole bunch of nails. That'll take care of that part. We do need planks. Um, I'm not sure where we do planks at. Um, I may have to check that in a bit. Oh, I think we need to, I think we need a saw. There is a saw here. Perfect. Cool. So once we have the saw, I think then it will give us the option for planks and nails are taken care of. So the planks shouldn't be too hard. We got plenty of wood around us. It does take five cloth. So I'm going to start gathering that up um, to make that and then a hammer. I actually think that we're pretty close. Believe it or not, I think we've got it. I was just looking in here and check it out. I have everything that I need now. Nails, I actually made 50. In my mind I needed 50, but it was just 20. Um, we needed a couple logs, I already had those. So this is cool, because the list online um, that I saw didn't show logs. It makes sense. Um, I thought maybe the planks would cover it, but as it turns out, it doesn't matter because I have plenty of those. Let's go ahead and craft this. Um, I think I can just kind of construct this. Can't be operated when placed outside of water. Yeah, no, that's fine. Cool. Let's run this down to the water. Place this in and see what we can do. Okay. I don't know if this bodes well that we're going to put the boat in <laughs> during a storm. Um, okay, so it clicks. It looks like it wants to be like here. There we go. And it looks like we can, what, right click? Alrighty. Let's just push forward. Okay, so the sail comes down. And I'm just, I'm not even holding forward right now. So we're just going forward. If I hold left. Okay, great. Oh, waves. No. Go hold right. Cool. So if we right click, we release controls. I assume that means we hop out of the boat. Um, we can unlock the camera. We can lower the sails. That's interesting. Ooh, the water's choppy. Is that because it's a storm? I feel like it might be. I'm kind of scared for the boat, though. All right. Should we brave these waters? I'm actually really curious about getting out. Um, so I'm going to try that really quick. Let's go over here. 
release controls. I don't want to do it till I'm near shore. There are sharks out here. Um, <laughs> I did have one attack me once. I'm going to try not to crash this. I just want to put it like right here. Hopefully it doesn't do damage to it. Bonk. And I right click and I'm out of it. So hopefully the waves don't carry that away. I'd like to go back and sleep. <laughs> sleep through the storm. But I'm a little scared that I'm going to lose the boat. Um, hmm. I think I might risk it though. Okay, the storm let up before I could even find my way back to the base. Um, we I just noticed that we got the kind of compass going on here, which is great. Um, but what I want to do is I want to see, is there a map? I know there was some map of sorts. When I looked, when I saw a screenshot online, uh, you could actually see where somebody had sailed. What I want to do is I'm just going to kind of head straight away from the base and kind of note this, that I'm heading west and I'm going to want to come back east when the time comes. Let's go ahead and go. We've got full sails. We're just going to kind of push forward here. Now, one of the things I'd actually read online, I read somewhere, um, I didn't know if it was a joke or anything. could have been. <laughs> but it said if you go the direction that the birds are going, you will be led to an island. But um, I just saw a bird. There he goes over there. Flying what looks like east. So we're just going to keep going this way. And um, not for too long though. I did notice that I was reading the compass a bit wrong. I spun the camera around and realized the compass wasn't moving. So I'm actually heading east. When I want to go back, it looks like I will be going back west. But um, so far I'm not seeing anything. And this might be a while. And we're running out of time. So I think that's where we're going to wrap it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this run here, this second episode, and I hope you are, oh, I'm going to try not to get sick from these, oh, they push you too, the waves move me, that's pretty cool, I think there's another storm coming, so anyway, I do appreciate you guys stopping in and watching, I hope you guys are wanting to come back and see how this goes, this could be very disastrous, but um, until next time.